Faith, North Carolina. Population, 502. 504, if you count the Yankees, which the folks in Faith seldom do. Small towns in summer attract politicians, like Big Sisters to Ice Cream. That's Jim Hunt, the popular two-term Democratic governor. He wants Jesse Helms' job, the powerful conservative voice of the U.S. Senate. Yeah, sure, I'm not powerful. I just stumble around like a country boy and do the best I can. When a politician starts talking like a good old boy, keep your hand on your wallet. This is rapidly becoming the most expensive Senate race in American history. Hunt has already raised $3 million. Helms, more than six. Most of the money has gone for TV political spots. They're just a political smoke screen to hide the real issue. The money for these ads has come from forces far beyond North Carolina. Jim Hunt is saying in his TV commercials that the senator from North Carolina should not be the senator from New York. Then why is there a New York committee to elect Jim Hunt? Helms is the darling of the new right, endorsed by Reagan and the Reverend Jerry Falwell. Hunt has attracted a galaxy of liberals, Paul Newman, Woody Allen, and Gloria Steinem. Helms champions the old South. Hunt, also a conservative, is nonetheless a symbol of new directions. As governor, he brought 13 billion in new business to North Carolina. This is what they do, the death squads in El Salvador. This is the man accused of directing those death squads. This is Roberto Dobasson's best friend in Washington. Outside forces for Hunt, fear Helms' position on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Helms is the third ranking Republican Chairman Charles Percy is having election troubles in Illinois. Howard Baker is retiring. That could put Helms in line to be chairman. Hunt was a Kennedy Democrat years ago, and his programs for North Carolina have been expensive. Under Jim Hunt, state taxes have soared to all-time record highs. Helms has blitzed the airwaves with those figures, and Hunt's commanding lead in the polls has evaporated. Now he's sounding more like Helms. We have got to be sure, of course, that America has the military strength to defend freedom throughout the world. How much better it would be for us to supply the minimal amount of assistance in terms of weaponry or whatever to put down the communist terrorists which are now trying to destroy Central America. I think I'm going to vote for Jim Hunt. She's going for Jesse Helms. I just like what he stands for. Willie and Jean McCrary are laid off textile workers. They have 10 children. One last time. Jean has been out of work for 14 months. Willie has turned to painting houses. I'm getting three meals a day, but still, I believe that we could use a few more jobs in North Carolina. We could. I'm an old country girl. I just. I dread to think what the future's gonna be like. I've got no desire to go to no moon. The McCrary's are caught in the middle of the changes in the Old South. The number of house painting jobs is down because most of their neighbors have moved to modern homes with aluminum siding, like the McCrary's themselves. The election to decide this new direction could swing on another famous Jesse, Jesse Jackson. Black voter registration is up 15% in North Carolina almost all expected to go to hunt. Linda?